So at the beginning of class, I asked you to do on arrival, I wanted you to complete this data table. It's kind of funny. I walked around and I saw that you all were, uh, you made this data table and you were filling in the blanks. And the result that you got here was really quite nice and convenient. And it's almost a bad example because it comes out almost too nice and convenient. And I don't know that how that happened because I totally made these numbers up. I knew kind of what I wanted them to be, and, but I really just made these numbers up. Let's uh, work this through together. Again, this is a data table for uh, the density of, let's just call this some unknown fluid because I made these numbers up. I really don't know what this fluid, this fluid might be. But this might, these, these would be the experimental results that you would get if you measured the, the mass and volume of some liquid. So help me out. And I don't want you to, if you have the numbers where you did not restrict it to a certain number of sig figs, I want to write as maybe like four or five digits right here. What do you get when you divide 147 point, what do you get when you divide 147.25 by 159, Mitchell? Sorry? Do you know what you get when you divide 147.25 by 159? Uh, I don't know. You raised your hand like you were going to tell me. Malloy, what'd you get? Uh, 0 0.926. 0 0.926. Okay. Uh, what about this one? 110.75 divided by 102. What'd you get there, Dominic? 1.085, okay. And then what do you get when you divide 74.55 by uh, 81? Anthony? 0 0.92. 0 0.92, okay. And then one more, 26.05 divided by 22. Anybody, anybody, anybody? Anybody, anybody? Yes, Tyler. 1.9. Okay, these probably had more digits on your calculator. Um, but, and, but you listen to your, you, you know that when you're calculating, you have to limit it to the proper number sig fig. So, well, yeah, look at this, guys. You, this one's limited to three. Uh, this one's actually four, so this one might be nine. Um, this is limited to this. You do, you do it exactly what I told you to do. Your answer can only have as many sig figs as the term with the least number of sig figs. So you did this exactly right. Now, when you calculate the average, Someone give me the raw number before you made sig figs. What did you get down here? Yes. 1.03. Did anybody have any other digits? What would you get, Malloy? I had 1.0365. 1 Does that look like something? That, somebody else get this number? It's a lot of digits. It's too many digits. That needs to be restricted. So in all of these terms that we use to make this calculation, we're really limited to just two sig figs. So I saw a lot of people had 1.03 out there. Um, this would actually, with three, wait, two sig figs, so this is, wait a minute, we're only limited to two sig figs, right? So we got to go, I, this is the way I do it when I'm rounding. I say I got to have two sig figs, so I'm going to draw two lines under the first two numbers. And then I'm going to look to the right of the last one, and that's the three to tell me whether I am whether the zero stays the same or whether it goes up. It's a three, so the zero stays the same. So I've got to erase this. So the average density for this fluid, based on the four measurements, 1.0 with two sig figs. All right. If you got that, raise your elbow high in the air and pat yourself on the back. Okay. 